morning, afternoon, evening, uh, just welcome and uh, whatever time of day it is that you're choosing to tune in to today's devotionals. It's lovely to see you. Uh, my name's Wendy, I'm part of the North Location um, and uh, along with my husband we um, also look after marriages, uh, the marriage life groups and health and marriage. Today uh, I'd like to uh, share with you a scripture that means uh, a lot to me. Um, I, you know, it's something that's uh, a vested interest in it with with me, as it was a the verse I was given when I was baptized, and it's uh, from Matthew five six, and it says, "Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be blessed." It's one of the beatitudes, and um, in it, although it's only one sentence, there's so much that you can get from it. Um, thankfully, in uh, in you know in the places that we live, we we don't see much hunger, and I can honestly say I've never been been that hungry, um, because I've always had access to food, and and I can never remember a time where I've ever gone without, um, other than when I fasted, but that's something that I've chosen to do, and even then I've never real felt real hunger. Like you see so many people, in, particularly in third world countries. However, on a recent expedition, um, on, on our holidays, I did feel thirst. And um, I'd gone out on, out on a, a bit of a jaunt in the heat of the day. Maybe I shouldn't have done. Maybe I should have been a bit wiser, especially as I'm an, an avid hiker anyway. So I, I know the rules of going out, out on a walk, in, particularly in countryside that you don't know. Anyway, off I went, determined to find a shop. Um, I've, we'd been sailing on a boat, so we'd, we'd anchored, and I'd just gone ashore, and I said, I'm going to go and look for a shop. I was told I wouldn't find one, but stubborn as I am, I went to look for this shop. Off I went. Uh, four hours later, in the heat of the day, I was struggling because I was lost. I had nothing to drink. Uh, I was really hot because, as I say, um, it was... It, it was it was the heat of the day. The sun was up. It's shining. I had shorts and a vest top on. Very very silly, I know, but um, that's that's just the way it was. And I was thirsty. And I remember looking to think, is there anywhere? Is there any clean streams anywhere that I can find? Um, I couldn't find anything. However, I did find my way back, but it took a good four hours. So in that time, I did sense what real thirst was. And in he and, and in the scripture it says, um, hunger and thirst for righteousness. So obviously I was thirsting for something physical. Righteousness isn't isn't um, isn't a, a physical thing. It's a spiritual uh, attribute. Uh, what is righteousness? Righteousness is doing the right thing, doing the will of God. In Matthew six thirty three it says, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. It doesn't say seek first the kingdom of God or his righteousness. They go hand in hand. And once you've sought the kingdom of God and you've um, become a Christian and you, you walk in, uh, in the way, you know, you, you know as a Christian, it, it, then the next command is to um, seek his righteousness. It's really, you know, it goes hand in hand. So what we're doing, we're seeking the will of God for our life. Um, none of us can be righteous. Uh, there's only only Jesus, and we know that. So I'm not saying that we're going to uh, become righteous, but we seek it. We seek to live that life. We seek to do what is right. Once we've, um, we need to find His will for our lives. Uh, we want to know how what what how God wants us to live, and we need to keep finding what God wants us to do and live according to that. We can easily get entrapped with hungering and thirsting for things like jobs or a house or a family, um, the, the best car that we want. Uh, one, of, um, one of our children um, has got this passion for, um, for, Lexus, for an Alexis car, Alexa, um, and that's her dream car. Uh, told her she's got a long way to go yet because she's, you know, to, to get a decent job and all that, but... Um, and, and in society that's what we do we long for that 
we get those things and then we're never satisfied are we we want the next we want the next new model of car or we want the uh, an upgrade on our house or we want uh, a better job job that's better paid and we can we can hunger and thirst for things like that but it doesn't it never satisfies us um These things are a bonus, but they don't fulfil or satisfy us. And that can only come from a right standing with God. It's by reading the Bible and following what, what it says. Now, we can easily just read the Bible, you know, because it's something that we should do or something that we want to do. But just reading it isn't enough. We've also got to uh, do what it says. Uh, we need to be seeking God's plan for our life. And we need to lay our lives before God and continually come to him for, for forgiveness. Then that's what we're doing. We are seeking righteousness. Righteousness is being free from guilt and sin. And therefore, uh, only God has this attribute. By pursuing God's character and becoming more Christ-like, we're pursuing righteousness. It's through faith Believing that Christ is who he says he is and believing he paid the price for our sin, that we are made right with God. According to Psalm 1, a righteous man is happy. He doesn't walk in the counsel of the wicked. He doesn't stand in the path of sinners. He doesn't sit in the seat of scoffers. He delights in the law of the Lord. He meditates day and night in God's law. He is like a tree firmly planted by streams of water he bears fruit in its season his fruit and leaves will not wither he prospers so going back to my verse today matthew 5 6 well we we will be blessed if we are if we hunger and thirst for righteousness and put that as our top priority thanks for listening for today i hope you've got something from it have an amazing day